Hello, my name is Natasha and I'm part of the Creative Lab. The Creative Lab is a dedicated team that assists clients in the management of internet access for their guests. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the campaign module. It's a user-friendly tool that requires no coding knowledge. But why would you need to use such a tool? Well, this tool can be used to change the appearance of your captive portal. So for example, the background image, but more importantly, it can be used to communicate your latest marketing and communication operations. With this menu, you can improve your targeting and even monetize your Wi-Fi. There are three types of campaign, banner campaigns, background campaigns, and splash campaigns. Banner campaigns are very useful for businesses who want to communicate with their audience through their portal. For example, a company may need to inform its employees about an upcoming event, like a seminar. Then we have background campaigns. These give you complete autonomy when it comes to how the portal looks. They are to be updated regularly by companies who have seasonal communication, such as retailers. Finally, we have splash campaigns. These campaigns are ideal when you want to make sure your audience sees your communication as they take up the whole screen and so have a stronger call to action. They can be used for any operation that requires user interaction for example, a contest or a discount code. They have the best conversion rate. So first things first, where do you find this campaign tool? Well, first, you need to log into the admin interface. Then, down the left side of the interface, you will see all the different menus from dashboard to administrators. You will find the campaigns menu under the portals menu. Here is the campaign menu you can see a list of all the campaigns that have already been created. To the left of each campaign, you will see a toggle switch, which will tell you if the campaign has been published. For example, here we can see that Black Friday has been published. We can also see what type of campaign it is, as well as in how many locations each campaign has been published. In order to create a new campaign, you just need to click on the new campaign button at the top and follow the steps starting with the type of campaign. I'm going to give you an example of a background campaign, which I will name Summer 2021. First, you need to add the media and or text you want to include in your campaign. I want this to be seen on all my portals and by all audiences. If you wanted to choose a specific target audience, you could change the settings here by either choosing first time visitors, returning visitors, or visitors who used a specific authentication mode. I also want this campaign to be scheduled for just the summer months, i.e. from June till end of August. Once your campaigns are up and running, you can check on their performance in this tab here. If you ever want to edit your campaign, you can click on the campaign and modify it. You also have the option to duplicate your campaign, if for example you wanted to create a very similar campaign. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please feel free to contact us if you have any further questions regarding the campaign menu.